to everyone's favourite competition, next, Big Singer! I am your host, Zalia Zebri Zebra, and we've got a doozy of a show for you today. But first, let's meet our judge for tonight. You know him, you might not like him, it's Snickers McDoodlepuff! I suppose I should wish you all luck. You are certainly going to need it. We shall see who out of our lovely contestants has the potential to become a gazillionaire. Our participants are anxiously awaiting in the green room to come out on our stage. Now, usually we would give the singers a choice of what they are singing. But today, we are picking the theme. That's right, each contestant must sing one of the psalms listed in the green room. Uh-oh. Yes, 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 thank you, thank you. <laughs> and with that, let's see who can astonish our top judge on this episode of Next. Big Singer! Thank you. Oh man, not again! Wasn't the episode we did on Psalm 23 enough? <laughs> There's five different ones on that list! Oh, Shokter and Bambi, you've done this before. Surely you can help us know what to do. Uh, once was enough for me. I'm not creating a song off the bat for another psalm. Oh, this is a disaster! Ah! Oh, now it can't be all that bad. Let's see. I'll pick this one. Now, what to do with it? Do I put it to a Billie Eilish song? I wouldn't recommend that. Come on, Bambi! Help us out here! <sighs> All right, this is my only tip. The Psalms are songs written by King David. They often reflected his thoughts and emotions about his relationship with God. Uh, I, I remember you once describing it like a diary. A diary with songs. Exactly. If you want to sing a psalm, then you need to understand what David was trying to say about that passage. Spirit, you picked the one at the top of the list, right? This is Psalm 51, 1 through 5. This psalm was written soon after David performed a terrible sin. He felt ashamed, scared, and upset at what he had done. This psalm talks about him confessing this sin. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict, and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth. Sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Did you hear how Chester said that verse? He sure wasn't having a party sounding all glum and sad. Right. Chester sounded sad and ashamed, just as David might have sounded when he wrote the psalm. Well, I didn't realize it was a sad psalm. Can I change my pick? I'll do that one. I like sounding sad and glum. Okay, I'll do this one then. Psalm 24, 7 through 10. Uh, let's see, if I'm understanding the verse, this particular psalm is David talking about God's creation. Like a poet weaving his words, David reflects on how God created and controls the earth. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of Glory may come in. 
Who is he, this King of Glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of Glory. I'll perform this one then. I like all of the words in it, especially the word glory. It's fun to say. Glory. 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 N -n -n Maybe you're looking for a happy one on the list, Spirit. Uh, what about the next one? Psalm 1, 1 through 3. It's reminding you to be joyful. This one reads more like instructions. David is reminding us about focusing and listening to God and His directions. Without Him, we are easily led astray. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on His law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Ew, I don't want to read directions. Have you ever seen me try to put furniture together? I have. It isn't pretty. I can do that one then. I do like instructions. Well, that leaves two psalms left on the list. Hmm, let's see. The next one is Psalm 119, 9 through 11. This one also reads as instructions. Oh man, more instructions! Well, yeah, but it's different than the last one. Looks like it talks about seeking God with your whole heart. David recommends doing that by knowing and understanding God's word. How can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living. According to your word, I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Hmm, I think I might want to do that one. But that leaves me with the last one. What if I don't like it? What do you like, spirit? I like pickled oats. I have no idea how to respond to that. Well, the last psalm on the list is Psalm 119, 105 to 108. So it's a different part of the same psalm, number 119. That's a really long song. This part of the psalm talks about how God's word guides us, like a light on a path. So again, it talks about living to God's word, just in a different way. The last one's point was staying focused on the word. This one's point is showing what focusing on God's word can do to help you in your life. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. I have taken an oath and confirmed it, that I will follow your righteous laws. I have suffered much. Preserve my life, Lord, according to your word. Accept, Lord, the willing praise of my mouth and teach me your laws. I do like that one. I get lost really easily. I never would have guessed. And this psalm talks about what I can do when I'm lost. I can't wait to make up a tune for it. Well, now that we've all picked a psalm, are we ready to try and sing them? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Let's do it! Yeah, let's show that snobby Snickers McDoodle Puff the power of David's songs! Yeah, let's do it! Ah, uh, there's nothing like a good song for some motivation. And with 150 songs, there are 150 songs to look through. Go ahead and check out some psalms for yourself. You might find one that you enjoy, just like the members of our team. Until next time! How, how, how do I get out of this green room? Why are there so many clothes in here? Ugh, I'm drowning in fabric!